What's up y'all? Man, Marvel must be feeling really frisky this week. First they gave us the Captain Marvel new trailer, and now we got the not only the title, but we get the title and a nice little teaser trailer from Avengers 4. So it's going to be called Avengers Endgame. Uh, let's kick back right now and watch this new trailer and you stick around afterwards I'll give you two or three minutes about you know what I felt about the trailer. So without no further ado, let's check it out <sighs> Stay on Hey Miss Potts If you find this recording Don't feel better at this Part of the journey is the end. Just for the record, being adrift in space with zero promise of rescue is more fun than it sounds. Food and water ran out four days ago. Oxygen will run out tomorrow morning. That'll be it. When I drift off, I will dream about you. It's always you. did exactly what he said he was going to do. He wiped out 50% of all living creatures. We lost, all of us. We lost friends, we lost family. We lost a part of ourselves. This is the fight of our lives. This is gonna work, Steve. I know it is. Because I don't know what I'm gonna do if it doesn't. Is this an old message? Ant-Man, Ant-Man, I know you know, I know you know that. It's the front door. That's me. Can you buzz me in? All right, so I got mixed emotions about what I just saw. Um, there's several parts about it that I liked and some that, I don't gonna say disappointed me, but I felt like it was lacking in certain areas. So let's get to the parts I love about it. I love just seeing all of them back together again on the screen. Anytime I get to see the Avengers together, you know, or the movies that get me excited already. Um, to start off with Iron Man and to show the continuity of the journey that he was on since the last movie in Infinity War, now he's sort of floating around in space. And I really felt the loneliness that he felt, even from that little teaser when he was sending that message to uh, Pepper Potts, I really got to feel the loneliness and desperation he felt talking about the oxygen is going out in the morning you know i ran out of water four days ago like it is some you know drastic things that he's going through but i want to know what happened when he left titan where did nebula go did they part ways you know she didn't help him out to say okay this is how you get back to earth or you know what happened after that so that's what i'm thinking more or less of is how did him and nebula part ways um and maybe that was his shoulder that Nebula was putting her hand on. As we've seen later on in the trailer, Nebula is sort of rubbing her hand on somebody's shoulder. It could be Iron Man, you know, right there. Now, next up is Captain America. I love that they put a lot of Cap in this movie, it looks like, because we didn't get too much of him in Infinity War. So I think that's an improvement if you can improve on Infinity War. But yeah, I love that we got a lot of Cap in there. Chris Evans is just, you know, the man. I hope he doesn't leave. I hope he doesn't die in this movie. Although, if you check out my prediction video I also did, I did predict that he's going to die in here, sort of like sacrifice himself to save everybody else type of deal. But I hope that doesn't happen. Um, but yeah, I love how we got a lot of Chris Evans, Black Widow in this trailer. Their chemistry is awesome. Ever since Winter Soldier, them two work great together. Scarlett Johansson, she looks great in this trailer. So yeah, her as Black Widow, I can't wait till we at least get a solo movie with her by herself. But yeah, them two in this trailer looked great together. Um, next up, they gave us a little bit of Hawkeye and his new look. 
I wonder who is this guy on the ground that he just killed, you know? And who are, who, what the hell is he doing in China? What the hell was going on with Black Widow? Maybe she was looking for some information and she got trapped and sort of he came in and saved her, it looks like. You know, it looked like she had a sword or something in her hand also. So I wanna know what the hell is going on. Why are they in China? And who the hell is this guy is on the ground? He just pretty much murdered or killed or, you know, hurt. I don't know, it looks pretty bad. Also, I like the CGI, you know, as you can see Iron Man in his spaceship with the helmet and just floating around in space. Um, we got a shot of Thanos walking. It looked like those plants right there are the same plants from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Remember when Nebula always wanted to eat that plant and they was keeping it from her because it was not ripe. And then, you know, it looks like that's what he's growing out there. I don't know, maybe you could check that out. Let me know in the comment section below if you spotted that as well. But this CGI looks like they really, really put a lot of time and effort into it. And it looks real. I couldn't really tell if that was a real space shot or what when Iron Man was floating out there. So CGI is on point. Um, the things about it that I didn't like was that it was a teaser. I wanted more, you know, all this made me do was want more. I wanted to see a couple of other characters. I wanted to see a little bit more of Thanos. You know, it looks like the gauntlet is still messed up. Did you notice that? This is the teaserest of teasers, if I can make up a word. This teased me so much because it left me wanting more. I wanted a couple more characters, a couple more shots, you know, of just what the hell was going on. Um, I think that shot of Ant-Man at the end was great. That was a great add-on. But yeah, this teased me so bad because I think they're spoiling us with these movies because I'm tired of this waiting game. I wanna know who's gonna be the main baddie. I think that that Thanos thing is a throwaway to somebody else in the movie. So I think that Snap had an effect on people and characters that we haven't even seen before. So that's what I was hoping for. I was hoping that they introduce somebody new to sort of shock and awe us. You know, I was looking for that shock and awe moment that they just, you know, every once in a while they'll let out. So yeah, they're playing a little close to the vest for my liking, but other than that, I thought this was a great teaser trailer. I give it a B plus, you know, somewhere, somewhere around there. If you can grade a teaser trailer, that's about what I give it because it was lacking in some areas, but for the most part, it got me way looking forward to the movie, even more than I was before. But yeah, that's just my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, y'all. I'm in that chase for a thousand subscribers, so any help you can give me, I appreciate. Other than that, y'all, I catch your ass out there in this universe. Peace. Thanos did exactly what he said he was going to do. He wiped out 50% of all living creatures.